Good morning. I think this situation in the UK is getting clearer every day. Now, I was wondering, is it clear also for the average man? I don't think so. I'm talking about the average Swede or the average Australian or something. I don't think so. It's very clear. But uh, I think to most of us it's quite obvious what's going on. You now have UK citizens saying enough, it's enough now. And they talk about this group of people and they say, we have this huge group of people here. And they came to this country and they don't like it. They don't like the culture. They don't like anything about us. They don't like our system, nothing. And they want something else, right? And many of them came under false pretenses. So why are they here in the first place? And then we have all these problems. You know, girls getting killed and grooming gangs and what have you. Right? So that's very clear. Right? But now we have, because of the protests, we have that other group that we are talking about. They are now in the streets as well. And they are chanting about Jews and being quite threatening, right? So I don't think the average man would understand this situation. It's a special situation, isn't it? I've never seen this before. You have people protesting, being very angry. And then the thing that they are protesting is manifesting itself in the street. So I don't think so. I don't think media understand it either. You know, I saw this lady from Sky News and she was in the street somewhere in England. She was complaining about these bad English people, right, protesting. And then some guys showed up behind her, people of a certain faith with masks on. And they talked into the camera. And they stopped the broadcast right there. Sky News. Some sort of panic there. Well, maybe they understand the situation, but I, I don't think so. Well, they don't want to see it, that's for sure. Right? The media, they are so pathetic, aren't they? Oh, we are here to focus on the, the citizens of the UK who are in the street now, and they are angry. Uh, we want to talk about them and how bad they are, you know. And then these people show up and they, they don't want to see it. This was not supposed to happen, I think. And then, of course, you have the cops too. Well, Keir Starmer, he said, oh, we are going to protect you people, you people of a certain faith, we are going to protect you from these people living in this country, right? And that's what the cops are doing. That's what it, what it looks like. I heard that they made 150 arrests. I don't know if this is true. And these are UK citizens getting arrested. Now, are they interested even in the other guys? I don't know, I, I haven't seen anything. If they are there, they are, I suppose, they are there to protect them. Oh. Now they have an emergency meeting, the UK government, that's what I heard. And uh, I get flashbacks from Canada. Oh, they had an emergency meeting, Trudeau and his friends, when this uh, freedom convoy happened. And we know what happened, what was the result of this emergency meeting, right? was a big mistake. People are still talking about it. I suppose we can expect something similar from the UK government. Maybe worse. We'll see. Now, uh, we talked about this actually a few years ago on this channel. We talked about what country will see a civil war type situation first. We talked about the UK, I remember this, and, and France. 
And I thought, France. Oh, what do you think? Is there going to be something like civil war in the UK? Well, it's different this time, isn't it? Because you see the UK citizens, and they are being labeled as far right. And then you have the other ones who are speaking about killing a certain group of people, right? And they don't like the country they live in. Not at all. You know, they don't like anything about the UK, I suppose. Well, maybe some do. I, I don't know. But uh, that's not what I hear. They just don't like it. And still they came there. They came to the UK. Right. So we have that situation with both, with these two groups now. Right, so what do you think is going to happen? It's happening fast now, isn't it? And uh, it very much depends on what the government is doing. Now, they could easily do something here to stop this, but I don't think they want to. They want this situation. They want more control, more surveillance, more arrests, more force. Right? So they are, I think they are, this is what I see, they are encouraging it, see, the government. But if they wanted to calm things down, they could easily do it. Just listen to the people you know, and face the situation and start talk, start to talk about the actual situation with this group of people and start sending them home. Very easy. Right. Be good.